Today we're going to look at the gradient map and see how this can be applied to your photos, giving your photo a new mood, a different colour balance, and generally improving, improving the image. Right, so what we need to do is down here on the adjustments, come up until you get to gradient map. Now the first time you see it, it's going to look uh, pretty grim. Uh, because the default is basically red, green, blue. Um, but don't dis be discouraged by that. Um, what we're going to do is just do a, a quick change on this one. And we'll show you what you can do. Right, you've got three points by default. Uh, what we're going to do, we're just going to use two to begin with. So if I click on the center one and say delete, I just end up with the two. Now what's happening is this is the... the um, uh, dark areas of the photo and they're being colored red and this is the light areas of the photo and it's being colored blue so you can see that the sky is blue at the moment if I turn that on and off you can see blue is being applied to the highlights whereas red is being um, ap applied to the dark areas uh, another button you have is just reverse so you can just reverse that and now, now you can see that the sky is now red. And what we're going to do, we're going to actually change the colours here. So what we can do is pick on the colour. And I'm quite happy with the blue in the, in the dark. So let's just see if we can get a slightly different colour blue. And when we're happy with that, uh, just click anywhere and the panel will go away. Now let's pick the reds. And... That's a bit too harsh, so I'm just going to move over and move into more an orange. There we go. Now, obviously that's too much. So, two ways to alter it. One is to reduce the opacity until you're happy with the opacity of the colour of the photo. But one thing you should definitely try is the blend modes. So if I just click on blend mode... And I just go down through them, multiply, colour burn. The ones that probably the most useful are screen, overlay and soft light in this particular case. So I'll go for overlay. And let's just have a look at that. And what we've done is, wherever it's dark, we've added a, a, a blue tinge uh, to, to the dark areas. And to the light areas, we've added an orange. Um, now, if I just quickly switch that on and off, you can see the difference. And it's given it a much deeper, deeper colour and brought out some of the interesting features. So, for instance, the lettering here is much more interesting. Um, and the sides of the building have been darkened down, giving more focus to the centre of the photo in this case so what you can do now is you can play with these colors and adjust them to suit now we've got the correct blend mode so I could make it more of a green I could move over into the blues or I can even move over into the reds and you can see how that's changing the, the feel of this particular photo right once you've got um, the colour correction you, you want to apply, you can actually save it. So uh, you can apply this to other images. What you can do is just hit Add Preset, give it a name, which I'm, I'm not going to do, I've already got them saved, but call it Blue Orange or anything you, you care to choose. And I'll just uh, dismiss that for the moment. And if you come over to Adjustments, if you come down to the gradient map area, you can see that I've added my own um, colour maps, gradient maps. It comes with three uh, by default, which is one you first saw, the red, green, blue, an ultraviolet and a nuclear. And again, it, it's really, you've got, to, you've got to look at the blend ranges to, to see what you can do with that. 
so that can give, that gives you a nice uh, orangey sunny feel to the photo now I've created a couple myself um, I've got a blue mustard which I think is quite nice I've got a deep red to green again just gives it a different feel and uh, the classic uh, teal and orange um, it's used in a lot of filming um, basically giving a blue tinge to the to the dark areas and bringing out the skin tones by using an orange on the light areas and it's used in quite a lot of films particularly uh, films with a um, either a thriller effect um, or sci-fi dystopian type effect okay so we've seen it applied to that that one photo let's pick another one now we've got a mountain uh, scene here so now i've saved my um, various gradient maps the easiest thing to do is just pick on uh, the ones you want to try out so we've got my green and mustard color i've got uh, the deep red that brings the uh, deep red and green that's bringing out the greens and the foliage i do find that one quite nice for um woodland uh, mountain type scenes where it's you know mainly a green uh, tinge and teal and orange and that's giving it um, a warmer glow and uh, just putting that tinge of blue into into the into the darker areas of the photo and I, I quite like that one um, one of the other things apart from saving the two colors uh, when you save that these uh, presets it also set, saves the blend mode and the opacity so be aware of that it, the opacity and blend mode may have been right for one photo but you may want to tweak that for anything else you apply it to depending on the color range and the uh, tonal range of, of the photo so it's, it's a great way of um, just applying a preset and just getting your basics there okay so now let's look at a third one here and again i picked this one because uh, yeah, you've got human face in it let's uh, just run through the presets here uh, i don't think nuclear is going to work in this particular case a bit, bit over the top um, but what we'll do is we'll run through and what we can do here you can see let's uh, try the uh, teal and orange as you can see for for this type of photo it's bringing out uh, the skin tones uh, and adding a darker hue to the background where there's less light so again it's uh, let's just go through some of the blend modes um, let's go back to normal which that's what you would normally see and we can just run through see the color burns quite nice but over the top so let's just pull that back and you can see you can you can make a huge difference to that. that's not applied at all and just bring it up until you're you're happy with it and let's uh, carry on through um, overlay soft light uh, are two of the favorites and we'll just bring that back up again now if we just uh, go to the layer panel and turn that on and off you can see color you coming in just giving it a little bit more life just move the photo over a little bit right so if I just click in the middle you can either use the slider or you can use the position but I can now move that over and make um, it less intense in the sky or more intense in the dark areas so I'm, I'm saying use orange in the dark if I'm moving this over I'm saying use orange in the darker areas so you can you can adjust that so you might start here at 50% uh, you might just decide well actually I, I just need to pull that over to the right to give uh, the darker areas more of the blue and if we look at uh, this one for instance do exactly the same just click in the middle 
and I can adjust that by bringing in the balance between the two. Uh, if you like this, please uh, tick a thumbs up and if you'd like to su subscribe um, for more videos in the future, that would, that would be really great. Thank you.